of the Good Note Gymnasium in South Deerfield Frontier Regional. Tonight it's a boys Hampton League matchup, the Frontier Red Hawks and the Smith Academy Falcons. Jeff Terrell, Bobby C. alongside our studio producer tonight is Dave Reno. No team hotter in local basketball, at least on the boys side, than the Frontier Red Hawks. 15-1 on the season, Bobby. They, an early season loss to Wakona. They have run the table since then. 14 victories in a row for a very talented Red Hawk team. Well, you know, it comes down to a lot of different things in this one. It comes down to guys that have played together for a long time, Jeff. It comes down to guys who are able to do their roles very well. You look at the Carey brothers with Karsten and Peter. You also have Owen Morris, who's done a great job this year. You know, the guy doesn't score a lot of points, but Alex Sharp does his job well. Kalen Evans as well. This team is very deep, and I think that Ben Barshevsky's finally got a team that he's been looking for for a long time, and this year he's got it all right here in South Deerfield. Again, 15 and one overall, and they're perfect in the league, and again, they have won 14 consecutive basketball games. They have not lost since December. They have not lost, literally, in the calendar year 2019. Smith Academy, on the other hand, they're five and 10. Another young team, they don't go quite as deep. However, in terms of guard play, if the three main offensive threats, talking about Brett Gratz, Jack Zygmunt, and Carter Woodward, if they're all shooting well on the same night, they can be very, very dangerous. The problem is, usually they're pretty inconsistent. Well, the problem is, is that it's usually one guy who usually does it each night, but the night that they can get all three of those guys to do it, it's gonna be one night that they'll be able to win a game that will probably surprise a lot of people. But right now, let's be honest, this is what they're gonna need tonight. They're gonna need all three of these guys to be able to perform against a very deep and very good Frontier Red Hawks team. Now, in the first matchup uh, back in January down in Hatfield, the game hurt here on Bear Country and also on Frontier Community Access TV. Smith Academy actually led at the end of one quarter by a score of 13 to 12, but then Frontier turned it on in the second quarter. They outscored the Falcons 21 to eight to take a 12 point halftime lead at 33-21. Then they really poured it on in the third, outscoring the Falcons 26 to six. They opened up a 59-27 lead. They ended up cruising to victory 72 to 33 in that basketball game. And Owen Morris was the guy who really got it done. But again, you just mentioned how deep they really are. Now they have been not uh, really Colin Boudreau, pre-game warm-up here about three weeks ago, actually broke his wrist when he was uh, throwing down a dunk during pre-game warm-up. At the time, people were theorizing, wow, that's really gonna hurt Frontier, and I suppose it has, but not really. They haven't lost without Boudreau. No, matter of fact, the reason why that they've been able to get away with not having Boudreau and still doing well is because of the depth on this team. And I gotta give a lot of credit where credit's due. I think Ben Varshevsky has done an excellent job with this group of kids and how he's been able to groom these kids to be better basketball players yes. says a lot about Benny. All right, we're about seven or eight minutes away from the start of the game. We'll take a timeout here on the pregame show. We'll get you back here to South Deerfield with the introduction of the starting lineups, the national anthem, and the opening tip-off, Smith Frontier, next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. But we'll take it out of Galensky. We'll take it out of Galensky, okay? We'll take it out of here. We'll save Wisdom Way self storage for the first time out of the first half.
Please encourage these student athletes with your personal display of support and good sportsmanship. Now for tonight's starting lineups. For Smith at guard, number four, Colin Ferreira. At guard, number 35, Carter Woodward. At center, number 12, Max Bartlett. At guard, number 11, Jack Zygma. At forward, number three, Brett Gratz. Smith is coached by Matt Zernary. Now for Frontier, at guard, number one, Alex Sharp. At guard, number 14, Owen Morse. At center, number 22, Karsten Carey. At forward, number 13, Peter Carey. At guard, number two, Kaylin Evans. Frontier is coached by Ben Barshevsky. The officials for tonight's game are Glenn Mallett and Michael Bolby. Glenn Mallett is our lead official. Falcons in their visiting purple uniforms with the white trim. Frontier in the home white with navy and crimson. Eight minute quarters, a 30 second shot clock. Max Bartlett jumping center against Karsten Carey tip controlled by Frontier. Sharp has it deep on the left side. They'll set up the offense. Kalen Evans at the head of the circle. Left side to Sharp on the wing, beyond the arc. Cross court pass in a high post. It goes to Karsten Carey. Left side, Morse for three, book it. Oh, a nice ball moving right there by Frontier. Nice shot too. Three nothing in favor of the Hawks right off the jump and now some backcourt pressure by the Hawks. Smith though is able to break it relatively easily. Deep on the right side, Carter Woodward, he launches a three, back rim no good. Peter Carey gets the rebound over to Sharp. Sharp out of the front court, left side to Morse on the wing. Looks to dump it down low, does so to Karsten Carey. Powers his way through, off the window, no good. Got his own rebound, goes up, got actually blocked. Peter Carey gets it though. He goes up strong and hits. Yeah, there you go, and you got two twin towers down low. Hard to be able to fend those two guys. Colin Ferrara loses control in the backcourt. Here comes Alex Sharp, lefty land is good. Seven nothing, a minute in to this basketball game. Wow, this team is so good and so fast. Greg Gratz is in big trouble, and they had to call a timeout because they're about to turn it over. We'll step aside for the break. 6.48 to play here in the first quarter, and already on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Frontier 7, Smith Academy nothing. This is Bear Country 95.3. Well, we do have that winter weather advisory that's in effect until 10 o'clock tonight. We are getting a decent amount of rain on the drive down here, but we are expecting some freezing rain to mix in. If we do have any school closings or delays or anything like that, any other cancellations, you can uh, check out the website, bear953.com. And Kevin on Bear in the Morning, he begins coverage starting at 5.30 tomorrow morning. I'll definitely be on delay tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. <laughs> All right, Smith Academy has the ball in the front court. Carter Woodward on the right side. They quickly double on him. It's a good shooter. They try to get it to Bartlett. Picked off, though, by Peter Carey. Left side to Sharp. Evans was there as well. It's Morse. Back to Sharp in the left corner. Sharp has it now in the wing. They dump it down low. Carts to Carey. Quick move along the baseline. Puts it up and in. Ah, nice ball moving right there by Frontier again. And a great play right there by Karsten Carey. 9-0 in favor of the Hawks. Jack Zygmunt on the right side. Passes it down low. Tried to get over to Carter Woodward. Got knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Falcons. 22 to shoot. Woodward inbounds. They get it to Zygmunt top of the key. This Frontier team defensively, they just swarm. Brett Gratz, he's a good shooter, but the key is to try to get the shot away. Carter Woodward. Shot clock down to 10. Zygmunt between the circles. Looks to get a screen. 
Can't fight through it. Shot clock down to five. They're in big trouble. Gratz, he'll take a three. Back rim no good. Karsten carry the rebound. Over to Evans on the left. Kalen, top of the key. Picks up the dribble. Karsten carrying the paint. Nice look down low. Reverse land by Sharp, no good. Rebound taken down by Bartlett. Got it to Gratz. Gratz, he runs it up on the left side. Cross court pass. Zygmunt finds itself open for a three. That shot is no good. Smith is 0 for 3 so far from downtown. Remains 9 0 Frontier. Five and a half to play here in the first quarter. Sharp, head of the circle, deep on the right. Kalen Evans zips a pass down low. Peter Carey, his reverse lane is no good. Battle for the board. Peter Carey goes up little. Buddy Hook with the right hand. It's good. 11 0. Nearly a steal, Colin Ferreira, shuffle pass back to Gratz. Gratz will take a three, it's good. Oh, big shot right there by Gratzy. He needed that three, all nylon too. And Smith is on the board. It's 11-3 now in favor of Frontier. Kale and Evans on the right. Goes to Sharp, they jump out at him. Back to Evans on the right. Kale and Evans, head of the circle. Again in the left corner now, coming through his Morse. Gets the top of the key to Sharp. And that pass was too high over the head of Karsten Carey out of bounds. Now listen, if that was over the head of Karsten Carey, that was definitely a high ball, because uh, he was all up there trying to grab that one and couldn't pull it down. Kavanaugh checks in for Smith Academy. Colin Ferreira takes a seat on the bench. Beck Gratz has it in the backcourt over to Zygmunt. Zips it past the little Bartlett. Bartlett goes up, nice dish to Kavanaugh, who banks it up and in. Ah, nice job right there with a great pass from Bartlett over to Kavanaugh. 11-5 Hawks, four and a half to play here in the first quarter. Karsten Carey from the foul line, can't penetrate. Worms himself free, and a blocking foul inside down low on Smith. They th think they got Gratz? They did, they got Brett Gratz. That's his first, first team foul. Hacked in the act, so Karsten Carey will be shooting two. Carey shooting off to our left. Dips, shoots. Front rim, no. He'll get one more. You know, Jeff, it's so uh, it's so hard to be able to pack it down low to do anything down low unless you can beat him on transition. That's it. Very true. Second free throw by Karsten Carey is good. It's 12-5 Frontier. Again, that press in the backcourt. Zygmunt, nice pass to Woodward. Nice look down low to Bartlett. Up fakes, off the glass, a little bit too strong. Zygmunt, the tip follow is good. Wow, it's a nice job right there by Jack being able to be there for the rebound. Nice shot right there by Zygmunt to be able to get them even closer. Well, after an 11-0 start to the game for Frontier, they've been outscored 7-1 since then. Ball goes out of bounds. It's off of Smith. It'll stay with... Frontier, Alex Sharp will inbound on the baseline. Gets it into Carson Carey left of the lane. They double down on him, a little hook pass coming through. Evans can't get the shot away. Steal by Zygmunt, going one on three, wisely peels it back. Waits for his teammates to catch up. Brett Gratz, top of the key, three, in and out, no good. Peter Carey the rebound, Kavanaugh nearly got it. it goes off of Kavanaugh's foot though, back to Frontier. Well, a nice job right there by Smith Academy to find the open look. You go, Gratzi was wide open, just missed that easy three that he probably should have made. Now some passive backcourt pressure by the Falcons, broken easily by the Hawks. Sharp, shuffle pass down low. Karsten Kerr, they needed him with steps. Yeah, he did too. He knew it. Karsten's had a tremendous season, but he's had a few games where he was a little out of sorts. A little bit of a slow start to the game so far tonight, but... An immensely talented basketball player for sure. Brett Gratz in the backcourt. Nice pass by Zygmunt to Woodward. Over to Bartlett, jumper left side, good. Oh, good ball movement right there. Smith Academy doing a really nice job being able to counter punch. This is a 9-1 run now by the Falcons. They're back to within three at 12-9. Three point bomb by Morse, no good. Rebound taken down by Bartlett. Here come the Falcons again. Gratz runs it up on the left. Bounce pass over to Zygmunt. Zygmunt, fade away Jay, too strong. Rebound comes to Karsten Carey. Got it to Morse on the right. Up ahead, Kale and Evans on the wing. Back to Morse between the circles. Bounce pass left wing, goes to Sharp. They dump it down low. Karsten Carey over to Peter. Power move, no, but a foul. Great ball movement there by the Hawks. And Bartlett's gonna pick up his first personal foul here, but that was a great pass right inside to Carey. Went up strong, just missed. Peter Carey shooting two free throws here. Front 
First of two is up, no good. Front rim, no good. Substitution for Smith Academy, Nate Moynihan in for Carter Woodward. Morse will sit down for Tim Barrington for Frontier. One more for Peter Carey. It's on its way. Back rim, no good. He missed them both. Mm. Frontier in a little bit of a drought. Coming all the way through. Beating everyone down court was Moynihan. He hits. Ah, nice hustle right there by Nate. It's a one-point game now at 12-11. Then first time around between these schools, Smith actually led by one. Oh, I Ball ends up over in front of us as they airmailed the pass. And now Smith Academy with a chance to take the lead, believe it or not. I was almost gonna stand up and shoot a four-pointer. <laughs> <laughs> Gratz inbounds to Zygmunt. Jack has it, head of the circle, tricky dribbling. Looks to the right, bounce pass on the wing to Gratz. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Again, Smith with a chance to take a lead here. Moynihan in a high post to Bartlett. Back to Moynihan. Come pass left side. Here comes Gratz going baseline. Shot clock now down to 10. Here comes Bartlett. Left wing takes that deep jumper, and it's well short. That was not close. Yeah, and that's not his shot either, but no. uh, they were running a little low on the clock, though, Jeff. And that was what you call a little desperation shot right there. So Frontier will maintain the lead for now, but they have struggled the last three, four times. Other than that one series where they made some good passes and sent Peter Carey to the line, other than that, it's been a struggle the last four possessions. Tim Barrington deep on the left. Bounce pass top, Lakita Sharp. Holds over his head, a high post. Peter Carey down low to Karsten. Triple teamed, he got blocked. That does not often happen. He's been blocked twice tonight, actually. Here comes Grad Zygmunt on the right side. Working on Sharp, gets it back, Gratz, top of the key. Brett, shuffle pass to Max Bartlett. On the left side, it's Moynihan. Left corner, Gratz for three in the lead, it's good! Oh, huge run right here by Smith Academy. And you know what, Ben, he's making a play through it. 14-1 run by Smith, amazing. Barrington, wide open, fakes the three, traveling. Wow, what a nice job right there. You know what they're doing is that zone is giving them fits. That zone that Smith Academy is playing is really bothering Frontier. Timeout on the floor. Things not going well for the Red Hawks at all. A minute eight left to play here in the opening quarter. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it is now Smith Academy 14, Frontier 12 on Bear Country 95.3. So an 11-0 start to begin the game for Frontier, but 14-1 Smith since then. They made a good job of adjusting, Bobby. They really have, and I'll tell you right now, they've done an excellent job on defense. They went to a zone, and what they're doing is they're all just collapsing down on the guys down low, Peter and Karsten Carey. Kavanaugh deep on the right side, gets it to Gratz on the wing. Top of the keys, Zerneri. Uh, check that Zygmunt, Zaneri's done playing. It's the coach, left side, Gratz, another three ball, in and out, no good. Peter Carey the rebound. Passes on the right side to Tim Barrington. Barrington between the circles, picks up the dribble, looking to get rid of it. Ball is tipped, it goes to Sharp on the left wing. Sharp's gonna go baseline, the runner, too strong, no good. Gratz the rebound, Smith now looks to run. Gratz into the front court, stops there. Passes right side, Zygmunt, Jack holding. Back to Gratz, tipped away. Coming back quickly. Barrington, left side, Kalen Evans, up fakes from 19, then shoots it from 18. That shot is no good. And Gratz tried to corral the rebound, couldn't quite come up with it. He was being pestered there by Gabe Jones Thompson, who was coming in right at that timeout. They're gonna get uh, Owen Morse back into the lineup as well, and Sharp will take a seat on the bench. Barrington will throw in on the baseline. Gets the ball from Glenn Mallett. Holds over his head. Throws it out deep to Morse. Owen holds there, back right side to Barrington. Tim Barrington, over to Morse, head of the circle. Kicks it on the left side, Kalen Evans. Back top of the key to Morse, shot clock running down a little bit. Now shot clock's off actually, we have no idea how much time's on the shot clock. And now, a foul on Zygmunt. And now, is that, now is that his second? First, okay. First. Okay. All right. Because 5.1 uh, seconds left here in the quarter. Those are your big players: are Grazzi and Zygmunt, 
Woodward, you need those guys. And even you want to keep Bartlett in the game too. You don't want him to get in any foul trouble either. Ferrara is back in. Woodward, Woodward who can shoot, is back in. They get it into Barrington. Four seconds left in the quarter. Tim Barrington, Morse. Deep three ball right side at the buzzer is no good. End of one here in South Deerfield. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Smith Academy 14, Frontier 12. Back with second quarter action next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Oh, a tremendous start to the game, Bobby. Frontier was playing about as well as a team can play, and then it just went all bad. Well, you know what they did? They started off with a man-to-man, -man, and Zaneri decided to go into a zone defense, and then their offense was starting to get hot. Nice job by Smith Academy. Great. That was a great change of being able to change your game plan. Carter Woodward between the circles, very deep in the basket, takes to the center court circle over to Zygmunt on the left. Cross court pass to Gratz. Gratz is going to release the three. Good! Oh, big shot right there by Gratzy. That's his third three. Smith's lead is five, 17 to 12. We have a long way to go, but Smith is playing some good basketball. They go to Peter Curry, right side jumper is good. Oh, what a nice move right there by Peter. And a turnover, nearly a turnover. Bartlett comes up with it for Smith over to Zygmunt. Zygmunt will go right baseline, high off the glass. In fact, it goes over the backboard. A lot of contact down there. And it'll go back to Frontier. And boy, Zygmunt definitely ran into the big tree of Carson Carey. I don't know how anyone gets a shot off <laughs> he didn't. against that guy. <laughs> now Carson will go left baseline, goes to the bank, no good. So again, he's struggling a little bit. Here comes Colin Ferreira on the left side. Gets it back to Gratz. He's been hot here in the opening half. Zygmunt, head of the circle. Right side pass. Carter Woodward's going to launch for three. That is good. Oh, nothing but nylon. Wow, they're raining threes right now, Smith Academy. Smith 20, Frontier 14. 6.40 to play here in the first half. Barrington between the circles. Back on the right side, Morse with a very deep three. That is no good. Alex Sharp gets the weak side rebound and brings it back out. Barrington cuts through the paint. Nice dish down low. Peter Carey, power move, left block is good. Yeah, that was a nice job right there. Nice dish to Carey. Zygmunt, he'll launch a three. That one missed by a lot. That was flat. Coming back now, Barrington. Frontier trails by four. They once led 11 to nothing, believe it or not. Karsten Carey, skip pass right side. They go in the right corner, jumper for three, in and out no good for Moore, so he's cooled off a bit. Here comes Gratz. Gratz with three threes. Had to pick up the dribble, waited for Zygmunt. Jack between the circles. They get to the Bartlett in a high post. Back to Zygmunt. Left side to Carter Woodward, hit a three a moment ago. Back to Zygmunt, shot clock down to 10. Quick catch, release. And another bucket by Gratz. Wow, Brett Gratz having a great night tonight, feeling it. 22-16 in favor of the Falcons. On the right side, it's Alex Sharp. Takes it on the wing. In the right corner now, Peter Carey's gonna go baseline. All the way through, reverse lay and no, but a foul on Bartlett. Yeah, you know, Bartlett, he's got the tough job here tonight. <laughs> he's their main guy down low, and he's gonna have to take on two Carey brothers. Man. On a night yeah. like that, you need to bring your you need to bring your uniform, your sneakers, and a bottle of pain reliever, <laughs> yeah. and and uh, maybe some stilts. 
First free throw is good by Peter Carey. He'll get one more. Yeah, they're a handful. And Peters, and Peters is getting better and better as time goes he by. He really is, man. Second free throw. That one, though, is no good. Deep rebound comes out to Ferrara. Smith with the ball. They lead by five, 22-17. Rick Ratz trying to keep it away from Peter Carey. Get it to Colin Ferrara. A little shuffle pass back to Zygmunt. Zygmunt to Ferrara. Right side, Carter Woodward. Top of the key to Gratz. Fakes to three. Pulls it back. Shot clock down to 10 again. Going left baseline. Zygmunt gets it back. Three-pointer left side. That is no good by Kavanaugh. One and done for the Falcons. Back quickly comes Morse on the right. Owen, nice dish. Peter Carey, nice look down low to Karsten who banks it home. Ah, oh, that was beautiful, man. Brother to brother for two. 22-19 Smith. And now a blocking foul called against Sharp as Ferrara blew right by him on the right side. That's the first foul on the night against Frontier. They went the whole first quarter and half the second without committing a personal foul. Very impressive. On the right side, Gratz got his man up in the air. Top key, Ferrara, a rainbow three. No good. It's tipped out deep to Peter Carey. Here comes Sharp. Frontier obviously looking to run again, but Smith does get back. Sharp. Gets it over to Peter Carey. Down low to Karsten again. Got his man up in the air. No good. But a foul down low against Kavanaugh. You know, there's such a huge height difference yeah. between the two Carey brothers and every other player on this court. First of two by Karsten Carey is good. And he will get one more. Try to get his team back to within one. Again, if you're just joining us, Frontier got off 11 to nothing. Smith called a timeout. They went on a 14 to one run to take the lead at the end of one. They've held the lead since then, but Frontier scratching their way back. It's 22-21 Smith now, halfway through the second quarter. Deep on the right is Carter Woodward. Gratz, top of the key. They've got Carey on him. That's a tough matchup for Brett. Lost it, but over to Kavanaugh. Oh, they miscommunicated. It comes to Peter Carey. He's going to throw it down. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Slam, jam. Thank you, ma'am. Between the circles is Gratz. Frontier reclaims the lead. 23-22. Ferrara. Kavanaugh batted away. Goes out of bounds. It'll stay with the Falcons. But now you see the Hawks have a pep in their step again. Defensively, they're swarming again. They're causing the Falcons to make some mistakes. They get it in. On the right side, Zygmunt fakes the three. Goes, dipsy to drive. Pass carry, no good. He wants the foul call, he didn't get it. Back comes Sharp on the right wing. Alex now backs it out. Into the right corner to Kalen Evans. He'll take a deep three. That is no good. Rebound to Zygmunt. Runs it up on the right. Push pass over to Carter Woodward. Oh, he wanted the three, didn't get it. Zygma will take a three, it's good. Oh man, I'll tell you, they definitely live and die by the three, this Smith Academy team. 25-23 Falcons, got a good one here tonight. Absolutely. Kalen Evans traveling, and now we're going the other way. Just when you think Frontier's ready to really turn on the Jets and leave the Falcons in their dust, Smith Academy fights right back. These kids work hard, they're very scrappy. Nate Moynihan just checked back in for the Falcons. Sitting down is Colin Ferrara. Bring it up is Zygmunt on the right side. Gets it to Kavanaugh, hands to Breck Ratz. He's looking at both Carey brothers right now, trying to get a shot off. Can't do it. Zygmunt's going to take another three. Back rim, no good. Peter Carey the rebound. Passes on the right side to Sharp. Alex into the front court. Loops a pass down low. Karsten Carey goes up strong. The reverse lane is good. Ah, uh, you know, you could do that all day long. We are tied at 25. Carter Woodward, jumper from the free throw line is no good. And once again, another one and done. Frontier is going to dominate the boards tonight. Oh, yeah. It's no question about that. So Smith is going to have to shoot the lights out as they have at certain points tonight. Tipped away, nice job there by Carter Woodward all the way through, lays it up, count it, and one, foul on Evans. Wow, what a move right there by Woodward. Man, good steal too. Yeah, Woodward, he, he's not physically imposing at all, but he took the hit. And he's gonna try to make it a three point play here. That's the first foul on Kale on Evans, second team foul on the Hawks. Woodward makes the free throw. 
And Smith back up now, 28-25, 2.15 to play here in the first half. Morse was hot early, he's been quiet since then. Sharp, back to Morse on the right. Takes the three, dribble drive, can't penetrate. Shot clock at 15. Wraparound pass, it goes to Sharp, top of the key. And he tried to do it like an alley-oop or something. Tried to loop it down low, way over Peter Carey's head, if that's even possible. No, I know, <laughs> and that's the second time that Alex Sharp has thrown one over the Carey brother's head. He did it to his brother earlier, too. That's hard to do. I know it. They both go uh, about six, seven or so. Maybe, maybe more in Peter's case. Left side, it is Kavanaugh. Fast guard pass to Woodward. Kicks it right side, Gratz, quick release three. Got it! Oh, oh, oh. Wow, these kids are shooting threes tonight, baby. Smith by six, 31-25. A minute and a half to play here in the first half. Left side, Kalen Evans, takes the three. And what do we got? Something inside. Yep, foul away from the ball. It's going to be against Smith Academy. Who got the ticket? See if they post it. It's on Moynihan. Yeah. That is his first. 16 fouls, so they're not shooting. One more. And Frontier will be into the one and one. The inbound it. Quick release. Shot from the right side. Morris, good for three. Ah, uh, big three right there by Morris. 31 28. He likes shooting from out there, too. Smith leads now by three. Their biggest lead was six. Frontier's biggest lead was 11 at 11 zip. Right off the jump. Part of Woodward. And through Kavanaugh, got it to Brett Gratz. Puts a move on, pulls it back for three again. That shot is no good. Peter Carey got the rebound, gets it over to Morse. A minute left here in the half. Frontier can tie with a three. Morse on the wing, looking for help. High post, goes to Karsten Carey. His pass got tipped away, but it comes right back down. Karsten off a feed from Sharp, banks it home. Yeah, inside game, that's what you gotta use. 31-30, Carter Woodward. Gets it back all the way through. Jumper from the left side is good by Moynihan. Nice shot right there by Nate. 33-30, Smith by three. 30 seconds left here in the first half. This game is a lot closer than most people anticipated. Karsten Carey, spin move, puts up the jumper, no good. Brett Gratz gets the rebound, shot clock is off. Smith, if they want, can hold for one, but Woodward is open for a deep three, no good. Cavanaugh though got the rebound to Zygmunt. Batted out of bounds, it'll stay with Smith. And unless something strange happens here, the Falcons are going to go into halftime with the lead. Wow. Question is, will it be three points or more? Good game. They get it in the Gratz, they jump on him. Gratz, three seconds left. Shot up, blocked by Carey, but they got the foul. Was it on the arm or with the body? I think they're gonna call that. Uh, the body. Yeah, yep. with the body. Yeah, the block, the, body. the block yep. was clean, but Peter did get him with the body. So with 2.1 seconds left here in the half, Gratz will go to the line shooting two. First of two is around the rim twice, <laughs> and then it fell through. <laughs> it's been that kind of half of that young man. Yeah. He's, been, he's been tremendous. Yeah, he's really hot tonight. You no, know, he can shoot. I mean, there's certain guys, you know, Falcons have struggled this year. They're five and 10, but Gratz would start for basically any team in the league. Absolutely. One more for Brett, lets it fly. That one is good as well, 35-30, Smith by five, 2.1 seconds left here in the half. Peter Carey, long shot at the buzzer is no good, and look at this, we have an upset wow. alert wow. that has been posted here in South Deerfield. Frontier has won 14 games in a row, but they trail by five to upstart Smith Academy at halftime. Our score on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Smith Academy 35, Frontier 30. Halftime report coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by 
Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Halftime report, Goodno Gymnasium in South Deerfield. Jeff Terrell, Bobby C., Dave Reno. Looky here. Smith Academy by five over Frontier at halftime after falling behind 11-0 early. Really? You know why? <laughs> they can shoot. They can shoot, and they're falling tonight. And that's the thing. We talked about their big three. They shoot a lot of three-pointers, and that is Gratzi and Zygmunt and also Woodward. And those guys are getting it done as they've been raining threes here in the first half. Now we talked about the down game, the dump down below. Who are dominating? The two, the two Carey brothers. Yes. Matter of fact, they got 22 between them of the 30 from Frontier. So there's a big difference in this game. What it is is one team shooting outside, the other is down low, and that's exactly what we're going to see in the second half. Great job by Coach Saneri going to a zone. I don't think he's going to go away from that on defense because those two guys down low are way too big, Jeff, for them to be able to do man-to-man. -man. There's no way. Now, you mentioned how the shots, for the most part, have been falling for Smith Academy. I'm remembering the 1985 college basketball national title game. It was Villanova against Georgetown. Georgetown was a decided favorite. Villanova had lost their fair share of games during that season, but they had one of those nights. The team ended up shooting 70% from the floor for the game. That's unheard of. Yeah. They ended up knocking off the defending national champion Hoyas because the shots were falling. And, and shots Coach are, Ra Raleigh Massimino was going <laughs> wild that night, man. He was going wild that <laughs> night. As Villanova won the national title. Of course, yeah. they've, been, they've been winning their fair share of titles in recent years as well. Sure. My point being that it's a 32-minute game. For 60 minutes, Smith, I mean, other than that 11-0 start where they fell behind early, it, it really went about as well as they could have hoped to expect. But they need 16 more minutes to pull off what would be a stunning upset. It sure would. And I'll tell you, to do it on this gym it would even be more of an upset because the kids are really good at shooting in this gym. And like I said, you got to do that for 32 minutes, not just for 16. What a nice start, though, for Smith Academy. And I just want to say, folks, uh, i sorry I sound like the old-fashioned Johnny Most here tonight, but uh, <laughs> I had too much fun Sunday rooting for those Patriots, and I'm a little paying for it here on a Wednesday night. <laughs> <laughs> One of the points you uh, made in the first half, Bobby, was that Ben Barshevsky, for the most part, was letting his guys play through it when they were struggling. Right. And that's all, right. And coaches oftentimes will do that. They don't overreact. Now, you're going into the second half. Your team's down by five. You're riding a 14-game winning streak. You're the big favorite at home. If they're struggling in the second half, he's not going to hesitate calling a team. Oh, no, he won't. And I'll tell you another thing, too. He'll start He'll start changing personnel because I know this guy. He'll change personnel. If you can't get it done, he's going to find somebody who's going to get it done. All and right. I give a lot of credit to this academy team right now being able to do what they've done here in the first half. 35-30 in favor of the Falcons here at halftime. Upset alert has been posted. We'll see if they can take it home. We'll take a timeout halftime. Get you set for the start of the second half next. This is Bear Country 90. 5.3. All right, let's run some numbers here from the first half for Frontier. Two guys with 11. It's the brothers, Karsten and Peter Carey. Also with six points, Owen Morris. And with two points, Alex Sharp. There's your 30 for Frontier. For Smith Academy leading the way. He has been hot tonight. Brett Kratz with 16. Also, Carter Woodward with two threes. He has six. Jack Zygmunt with five. Nate Monahan, he has four. Also, Max Bartlett and Daniel Cavanaugh. Each have two, 35 to 30. Smith Academy on the road is beating Frontier Regional. Wow. Well, one of these young men is going to win the Helena Chemical 
high school basketball player of the game. I'd have to say right now, it would not be a Frontier Red Hawk. When, no. the, when those players saw me uh, setting up before the game, they're thinking, okay, which one of us is going to win that T-shirt? Maybe none of them unless they get going here. Well, let me tell you right now, they better watch out for Grazzi because that guy is on fire here tonight. He is feeling it. All right. Yeah. It'll be Frontier basketball to begin the second half again. They trail by five here. Second half is underway. It's Kale and Evans deep on the right side. Top of the key to Sharp on the right side. Back to Evans. And with Sharp on the left. They dump it that low. Karsten Carey all the way through against Bartlett. Bartlett, she tried, but he couldn't contain him. And Carey scores. Well, that's a good start right there for Frontier. 35-32 in favor of Frontier. Carter Woodward between the circles. Here's Max Bartlett. Looking for the cutter, it's poked away. He recaptures though, shot clock at 15. Here comes Zygma, takes it in amongst the trees, gets blocked, but what do we got, a foul? They gonna nope. call that on Carson Carrier? Nope. Out of bounds. Out of bounds play. Uh, his foot went out of bounds. Yep. yep. So it'll stay with the Falcons. Carter Woodward will throw in on the baseline. Gets it into Zygmunt. Zygmunt goes left baseline over Carey. Shot no good. Bartlett battling for the rebound. Max got it. Back to Zygmunt. Top of the key. Gratz is going to take a three. Hits again. Wow. Kids on fire. 19 points for Brett as he smacks his fist together. Nearly got a steal there. Kalen Evans on the right. Gets it down low. Karsten Carey, top of the key. Sharp over to Morse. Left side three ball. In and out, no good. Carey the rebound. Oh, I think they got him over the back. Yeah, they got him over the back. That's a foul on Karsten. That was a good call, too. So Smith leading by six after that three-point bomb put up by Brett Gratz. He was just kind of hanging around. Wow. Colin Ferrara on the right side to Bartlett. Max holds there. Gets her way to Gratz. Obviously, they jump on him. Takes a 17-footer. That one is in and out, no good. Peter Kerr, the rebound. Left side pass to Sharp. Alex will take it into the front court. Looks to the right. Dribbles over there. Now swings that left side. Caleb Evans, ball tipped away. Recaptures. Gets it to Peter Carey. On the right side, Morse fakes the three. Traveling. Wow, a lot of fancy feet going on here today. Happy feet, we'll call it. Yeah. Yeah, there's been a lot of those here tonight. Smith's biggest lead has been six. They led by six twice in the first half. They lead by six here. And they have the ball. Ferrara, deep on the left. Top of the key, Carter Woodward. Over to Bartlett, 17 footer is good! Max <laughs> Bartlett hits the J. Boy, nothing but nylon there for Bartlett. That's not normally his shot either. And this is the Falcons' biggest lead of the game. Eight points, 40 to 32. Karsten Carey, triple team, no problem, hits anyway. Wow, that's smooth. <laughs> that was smooth. Colin Ferrara on the left wing. Gets it to Gratz. Gratz, he goes baseline, pull up, pop. Left side, good. <laughs> he sticks it. He is having a night. 42-34, Smith is not going away, Bobby. I mean, I'm expecting Frontier to win this game comfortably, but the longer that we go like this, I'm starting to wonder. Oh, nice dish, Karsten Carey to Peter Carey. And a quick timeout called by Ben Barshevsky. We will take the timeout. 5.34 to play here, third quarter. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Smith Academy 42, Frontier 36. Well, Karsten Carey showing that, you all know that he's a premier offensive player. He's a great defender, but that guy can pass, too. Oh, he can. And boy, that was a beautiful pass to his brother. I mean, that was awesome, man. This kid's a good all-around player. He really is. And I'll tell you right now, what's keeping the Falcons in this game right now, hot shooting. And watch out, Brett Gratz is on fire, folks. Yeah. Can they, as a team, and can Gratz as an individual, sustain it? That'll be the big question. I mean, it would be hard to think that they could, but they have played really, really well tonight. Gratz has a top of the key. He's going to take a three. He's going to make a three. Oh, oh, wow. Gratz, who are you? It's Steph Curry. What a night. 
45-36, their lead is nine. That's the biggest of the night now. On the right side, it is Sharp. Looking to pass out of trouble. Left side, Morse. Owen, lowers the shoulder, the leaner, went for the bank, no good, missed badly, and a rebound foul on Frontier. Who did they get? Did they, they got get, Kalen Evans. They got Kalen Evans on that. Yeah. Kalen's gonna check out, as he's had a rough go of it during uh, certain stretches. Tim Barrington, uh, a springy type of athlete, checks in. And taking it across now is Zygmunt on the right side. The Falcons could take a double digit lead here, if you can believe it. That ball got tipped into the backcourt. It'll stay with the Falcons, 18 to shoot. My guess is people that are listening to this game around the Valley, they're gonna start telling people, hey, you better check out what's going on on 95.3. We have a major upset in the making, but we've got a ways to go here. Zygmunt through the line, to the lane, loses it off his hip, sharp. He'll take it back for Frontier now, between the circles. Picks up the dribble, right side pass to Barrington, back to Sharp on the left. Looking to get it down low, finally does to Karsten. Up fake, spin move, goes for the bank, no good. Got his own rebound, puts it up and in. Guy's a one-man wrecking crew right there. Got Karsten Carey just dominating down low. Falcons lead down to seven. Zygmunt for three, no good. And again, when they're missing, they're not gonna get a lot of rebounds. So a chance now for Frontier to capitalize. Barrington on the right. Passes back, top of the key. Three-pointer from the top of the key. That is no good for Sharp. Max Bartlett gets the rebound. 3.48 to play here in the third. 45-38 Smith. Frontier led 11 to nothing early on. Smith has outscored them since then. Zygmunt, left wing, top of the key. Gratz is gonna take another three. And he missed for a change. Ferrara though, got the rebound. Gets it to Gratz. Zygmunt, beyond the arc. Cuts all the way through, accelerates to the lane. Oh, just couldn't quite finish with the lay-in. What a nice move there by Jack Zygmunt. Frontier now trailing by seven in a high post. It is Peter Carey traveling. Nice D down low by the Falcons. That was good D right there by Woodward. That was a good D right there. Had the hand right in there, and then he moved, and when he shuffled his feet at the same time. Nice job right there by Woodward. Good D. 3-10 to play here in the third. 45-38 in favor of the Falcons. They have the ball right now. Their biggest lead has been nine. Frontier's biggest lead was 11. That was a long time ago. Ferrara on the right side to Woodward. Shot clock at 12, Zygmunt gets a screen, pulls it back, can't release the shot. Now he will turn and shoot. Back rim no good, Barrington of all people, skies for the rebound, shortest guy in the court. Tim runs it up on the right. Tim Barrington all the way oh. through, nice dish down low to Karsten Carey. Wow, that's a good move right there by the little guy. Barrington with a great pass. Carter Woodward for three, no good. So now Smith starting to cool off, Frontier within five. Trying to make a big push here, Sharp. Frontier has not pressed defensively yet, but they could. Barrington to the line, to the lane. Shuffle pass off the hands of Karsten Carey, back to the Falcons. And for Frontier checking in, it's number 15, Gabe Jones-Thompson. Timeout though on the floor, will step aside, 2.18 to play third quarter. And still, it was a five point halftime lead for Smith. It's a five point lead for them right now. Falcons lead it. 45 to 40 on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. All right, so we have played a good part of the third quarter. Smith led by five at halftime, and now with a little more than two minutes left to play in the third, they still lead by five. They have cooled off, however, a lot. Can, they, can they ride this all the way home, Bobby? I, really, I, I, I have big doubts. I, I'm gonna tell you right now, it really depends on whether they can be able to continue to still shoot. I yeah, mean, because they're not gonna get any rebounding. No, no rebounds. Yeah, they I haven't mean, had them all night. And they're not going to get the vast majority of them. I mean, Bartlett got one a while ago, but for the most part, it's gonna be Frontier cleaning the glass. Zygmunt has it, beyond the arc. Shuffle pass to Brett Gratz. Gratz. Sealed off by Barrington. Got it back to Zygmunt. Jack. Tricky dribbles. Right side goes all the way through. Blocking foul called. I think they got Kalen Evans again. They did. Now, yep. that means that uh, Kalen's got three. That's the uh, second, uh, that's the third team foul on Frontier this half. Oh, they called it on oh, Alex they, Sharp. They called it on Sharp. Wow. 
That surprises me. Free throw. Did they get that right? That's what I'm wondering. I'm what Bobby. Seriously, I, I'm wondering I if they posted the right foul. I know it. I, I'm sure that that was on Evans. First free throw by Zygmunt, good. Second one by Jack, that one is no good. Karsten Carey the rebound. Peter Carey is on the bench right now, so when we say Carey, we mean Karsten. Yeah. On the left side, here's Kalen Evans going baseline, reverse lane, off the window and in. Beautiful oh, play. That was a good move right there by Kalen. Nice hustle too. 46-42, Smith by four. Gratz for three. Back rim, no. Karsten carry the rebound. Frontier can make this a one possession game. Tim Barrington tipped away by Carter Woodward and an attempted save by Barrington who went headlong into the Smith Academy bench. It'll go back to the Falcons. Gotta give that kid credit, man. He's a hustler out there. Nice job by Barrington. Well, he wanted a nickname, so Chris and I have been calling him Tim Great Barrington. <laughs> there you go. And he was great right there. Didn't quite come up with it, but. Uh, nice try. Top of the key is Kavanaugh. On the right side pass goes to Zygmunt, gets a screen. They go to Gratz. Gratz can't pull the trigger on the shot. Over to Carter Woodward, shot clock at 12. Zygmunt, deep on the right side, top of the key. Right side pass to Gratz, up fakes. Working his way through. Gets it back, Zygmunt, four to shoot. Off balance jumper, back rim no. Smith getting very cold right now, mostly because of the Frontier D. That was a very much off balance shot. Great defense right there by the Red Hawks. And Zygmunt was unable to square up the feet. Kalen Evans sealed off on the baseline. He's in trouble. Shuffle pass back to Karsten Carey. Down low and falling to the floor was um, Tom, uh, Thompson Jones goes out of bounds. It's gonna go back to the Red Hawks. And it looks like Kalen Evans will throw it on the sideline right. That's an area said that they tipped it. Yeah, Max and Mary, he's, uh, I'm not sure what kind of effort he thought he was gonna get from his guys when he came uh, up here to South Deerfield, but he has to be very pleased. Gratz is gonna get a well-deserved break right now. Kalen Evans on the right side, goes to Peter Carey, foul line jumper, foul by Kavanaugh. Two free throws coming for Peter Carey. That was an obvious reach and foul call. That's easiest call for the official to make. And Peter has missed three of four from the line here did that all in the first half. So he's got two here. First one is up, that one is no good. Wow. It kind of bounced around and just fell off the side. One more for Peter Carey. Get this one, it's down to a one possession game again here, Jeff. Spins it, dips, shoots, that one is good. And as Bobby mentioned, a one possession game now. 46 to 43, Baranowski gets it in. Here comes Kavanaugh up ahead on the right side. And Gratz is on the bench right now. Zygmunt has it. Zips it on the left side. Holding there is Kavanaugh. Gets it back, here's Zygmunt, top of the key. They're running that shot clock down. It's down to 10 seconds, nearly a steal. Sharp goes to the floor. Got it to Peter Carey, over to Karsten Carey. Went for the dunk, yes! Counted and won. Oh -ho! It wasn't a clean slam dunk, but it did fall through. And now Karsten Carey is one free throw away from tying this game. And I'll tell you right now, man, that was a great steal by Alex Sharp. He's the one who set that up with that great steal. Woodward and Gratz are going to check in. Baranowski and uh, Kavanaugh. Is Kavanaugh going to come off? Looks like they're going to, uh, looks like Monaghan. Yep, Monaghan checked out. All right, Carson Carey now with 3.3 seconds left, trying to tie the game here at 46. And he does. He inbounded. Colin Ferrara up ahead over to Carter Woodward. A shoving foul called. Baranowski with one. Uh, Barrington, Barrington with, one, with second. one second left. I mean, I know you want to play tough D, but we're not shooting. That was only the uh, fourth team foul of this half, but all right, one second left. So this is catch and shoot, maybe one dribble. They're going to look to get it to number three, Gratz, for sure. Instead, it's Ferrara, can't get the shot away, and that'll do it. End of three here in South Deerfield, a great game. And the upset could still happen. Our score on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Smith Academy 46, Frontier 46, fourth quarter action next on Bear Country.
Ref Cats coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. All right, we get set for the fourth quarter. It will be Smith Academy basketball. Carter Woodward is going to inbound right in front of us. He's out there with Zygmunt, Bartlett, Ferrara, Gratz. The original starting five out there for the Falcons. We are tied at 46, so Frontier able to uh, D up. And they go back door to Zygmunt, who puts it up in a nice dish. That was a beautiful pass right there to Jack. 48-46, Falcons have not gone away all night long. If you're just joining us, Frontier got off 11 to nothing. Smith, a lot of people felt like Smith would say, okay, that's it, we're gonna get blown out of here. We won't even try that hard. Now they get a steal in the backcourt as Frontier threw it away. Really more of a throwaway than a steal. Breck Rats, Carter Woodward wide open for three. It is no good. Battling for his own rebound, out of bounds. It's off of Carter. It'll go back to the Red Hawks. You know, if he got that a little earlier, he would have had an easy layup right inside. He waited too long to be able to get that opportunity at that. He inbounds the ball. Kalen Evans. It's Alex Sharp now in the backcourt. Taking it across on Ferrara, and they're going to get Colin on the uh, blocking foul there. So really, um, fouls are not a problem right now in this one at all, Jeff. Nope. Not at all. 13 foul this half on Smith Academy. Top of the key, it goes to Sharp. Left side to Kalen Evans. Kalen, double team, gets it over to Alex Sharp. Right corner. Here comes Morse, goes baseline. The floater, back rim no. Karsten Carey, the putback goes up and scores. Wow. And Matt Zanaria screaming at Glenn Mallett as he wanted that turnover on Frontier. And a three-point bomb put up by Kratz goes air ball. A rare bad miss for him. He's been phenomenal tonight. Well, that was a rush shot, Jeff. Honestly, he, he rushed it. Frontier now with a chance to take their first lead since the first half. Karsten Carey banks it home, and there it is. Frontier by two. 50 to 48. All right, Smith Academy now needs to maintain their composure. They have been in it. They have done a great job against a team that has won 14 consecutive games. 15 and one overall. Wraparound pass to Gratz. Gets it back, top of the key. Zygmunt, three point Bob is good! Wow, nothing but nylon for Jack. Bob, Bobby, they're not going away. I know, dude, they, they're shooting from they are, downtown. They are refusing to just lay down and take the L. They're saying no. We may lose this game, but we're gonna make Frontier earn that W. Ball gets dipped out of bounds by Zygmunt. I think Jack has done a great job on defense here tonight. Seriously, um, he has really been all over the court. Alex Sharp between the circles, right side to Morse. Passes to Karsten Carey. Back to Sharp on the wing. He's going to take a three, and that is short, no good. Morse though got the rebound. Owen goes right baseline, puts it up, no. Karsten the put back, yes. Oh man, you can't, you gotta box him out. Someone's gonna take it on. Bartlett's gonna have to stick his butt out. 52-51, Frontier by one. Zygmunt pulls it back between the circles. Guarded by Sharp. Right side pass to Woodward. Zygmunt's gonna take a three, got it! Oh, 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 man! I guess if you're gonna trade threes for twos, it's a good deal, isn't it? 54-52, Smith by two. Five minutes to play in the basketball game. Morse goes right baseline, stops there, gets it down low. Peter Carey traveling! Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Wow. 
And the Smith crowd making some noise they here, sure you know. Are. They took that little drive. They could have gone the back way. They could have gone <laughs> up Route 5 and 10 from Hatfield. They come up here. It's just a short drive. They're thinking, okay, we'll see how we do. We're probably going to lose this, but look what's going on here. They lead by two with the ball. Gratz fade away. Jay, no good. Carey gets the rebound. Got it over Bartlett. Left side, Owen Morse for three in the lead. No good. Gratz gets the rebound, runs it up on the left, up ahead, Carter Woodward. Gets the cutter, it's Bartlett on the right side. Now here comes Zygmunt, in amongst the timber, puts it up, counted and won, foul on Karsten Carey. Wow, what a move right there, Jack Zygmunt really starting to take things over, doing a nice job with the ball control, great job on the defensive end as well. Huge shot right there by Jack Zygmunt. <laughs> Tell you what, if these Falcons stick around any longer, your voice is going to be gone by the end of the <laughs> That's game. That's all right, Bobby. man. <laughs> you shouted That's it out. That's all right, brother. You shouted it out on Sunday night, <laughs> that football game. 56 52. Free throw is up. It is good. Wow. Smith now back up by five. Timeout on the floor. 4 33 to play. And a major upset could be in the offing. Our score on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Smith Academy 57, Frontier 52, back after this. Hey Jeff, it's Jack Zygmunt 11 and Carson Carey 6 here in the fourth quarter. That's it for scoring, guys. <laughs> That's it for scoring. That's it. Yep, Gratz yep. has cooled off. <laughs> yep. Owen Morris has cooled off. Yep. Peter Carey has not really been a major factor other than that uh, free throw he made. Yep. All right, 57 52, Smith with the ball, uh, rather Frontier with the ball, trailing by five. Peter Carey dumps it down low to Karsten, backs it out, passes tipped away. By Smith, recaptured though by Barrington. Tim, right side, Kalen Evans fakes the three. Top of the key to Barrington. Here comes Peter Carey all the way through. The runner is good as he got the bounce. Ah, nice move right there by Peter Carey. 57-54, Smith by three. Four minutes to play in the game right now. Brett Gratz, he has cooled off. They go to Zygmunt. And a blocking foul called against Kalen Evans. Kalen's saying, hey, Jack just ran me right over, but Kalen's going to get the ticket. Uh, I think they got him because he was moving his feet. That was the only reason. Yeah. He, he's still pleading his case. Yeah. Turn around and play defense, Kalen. Yeah. Not going to change the official's mind. Carter Woodward gets it into Gratz. Brett, top of the key. Harrington jumps right out on him. Zygmunt on the right. Smith with the ball, they lead by three. This would be a huge bucket if they can get it. Gratz, shuffle pass back to Zygmunt. He's gonna take a three, short. Rebound, Karsten Carey. Frontier can get back to within one or tie with a three. Right side, Morse. Gets it over to Barrington. Cuts all the way through. Dipsy do drive, off the window, no good. Carey the put back, yes. He is unbelievable. He is just unbelievable. Smith by one, 57-56, a 4-0 Red Hawk run in the last minute. Three minutes to play in the game. Bartlett over to Gratz, he's going to take a three. It is short, Karsten carry the rebound. Frontier can reclaim the lead. Get ready, you're going to hear the crowd here if they can score. The student section, they're, they're a little nervous right now. On the right side, it's Morse. High post, Karsten Carey. Skip pass, left side, Barrington, three ball for the lead, banks it in! Oh, he didn't even have to call it! Fans are going wild! Frontier 59, Smith 57, two and a half to play in the game. On the right side, they get it. Kavanaugh to Zygmunt, Zygmunt fade away three, is good! Oh, baby! <laughs> And they retake the lead, 60 to 59. Is Frontier gonna go down? Is the losing streak gonna end? We're about to find out. Morse for three, air ball. Ooh. 
And it comes down to Kavanaugh. Smith, two minutes to play, and the upstart Falcons lead by one. Deep on the right side, Zygmunt gets it to Gratz, and the defense champ, Gratz, and a foul called against Tim Burrington. That's the 17th foul, so we are shooting, Smith is shooting the rest of the way. Wow. Can Here you believe go. this? And look who's at the line. Front end of the one and one is good for Brett Gretz. And he will get one more here. Substitution for Frontier. You got Sharp coming in for Owen Morse. This crowd is fired up, man. One more for Gratz. It's on the way. It is good. Smith Academy leads by three, 62-59. A minute 45 to play in the basketball game. Alex Sharp. Left side, it goes to Burrington. Over to Kalen Evans, fakes the three. Peter Carey over to Sharp. Sharp traveling, and it's Smith Academy ball. Wow, timeout Frontier, Jeff. Wow, <laughs> a minute 36 to play. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Smith Academy 62, Frontier 59. Back after this on Bear Country. You are just joining us, folks. Frontier on this long winning streak of 14 games, 15 and one overall against a five and 10 Smith team. Frontier got off to an 11 to nothing lead right off the jump, but Smith leads by three and they have the ball with a minute 36 left. Enjoy the rest of this one. They get it into Jack Zygmunt. He has been money. Gratz as well. Those have been the two main guys. Gratz has it right now, deep on the left. Colin Ferrara, nearly tripped. He's in big trouble, gets it away. Bartlett, Zygma goes left baseline, off the glass and in, and a foul! Oh. I don't believe it! What a play! That was a great drive right there by Jack Zygma. Wow! He took it to the hole! They're going to count the bucket. Makes it 64 to 59, and Zygmunt can make it a six point game right here if he can make this free throw. But he's hearing it from the Frontier crowd here. Zygmunt lets it fly, it's good. Wow, he is on fire here in the second half. Timeout, Smith Academy will take another break. A minute 18 left to play in this one. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's now Smith Academy 65. Frontier 59. Awesome performance by the Smith squad, particularly in the fourth quarter, Jack Zygma. Bobby, what does he have this, this uh, quarter? He's already got 17 points this 17 quarter. 17 points in the fourth quarter. Test himself, but uh, Karsten Carey, is, uh, he's got his eight, but I'll tell you right now, they need to continue to get it down low to yep. Karsten Carey. All right, Frontier with the ball, they trail by six, with a minute 15 to play in the basketball game. Deep in the left side is Morris. Left side three-pointer by Peter Carey is no good. Karsten gets the rebound, back to Peter. He gets blocked by Bartlett. Wow! Rick Gratz in the backcourt. He is double team. Gets it over to Jack Zygmunt and a reach and foul called against Burrington. I'll tell you what, Frontier, they look like they're losing their composure they a little are, bit. They are losing their composure. And Jack Zygmunt, boy, I mean, this he game, has been focused here in the fourth yeah, quarter. This, this game is not over. Frontier needs to just chill out a little bit and just execute their game plan. But right now it's Smith that's executing, not the Red Hawks. One and one. This could make it a three possession game. Misses it. That was huge. Back quickly comes Morris. 
Barrington on the left side. Takes it through. Bounce pass back to Morris on the wing. It's a down low. Karsten Carey on the right side. Barrington fakes the three. Top of the key. Sharp for three. Back rim. No. Barrington, though, gets the rebound. He puts up the shot. Got it. Nice shot right there by Barrington. And a quick timeout call by Frontier. We're going to keep it right here at this point. 35.7 seconds left to play in the game. Smith Academy leads by four after that bucket by Frontier. It's 65 to 61. Smith will be inbounding. Frontier obviously is going to press. They're going to double. They're going to try to get the steal. If not, foul. Uh, the next foul, by the way, will be their 10th, and their Smith bonus. will be shooting two the rest I of the know. way. I was just going to tell you that, you know, double bonus is going to be huge right now because you know they're not going to let that clock go all the way down when they're down four. You can't do that. you got to foul right away. So. Frontier has had a tough time with this very pesky Smith Academy basketball team. There is more talent in the guys in the white jerseys than in the purple jerseys, but Smith Academy, the, what did we talk about on the pregame show? If, they could, if their guys were shooting well, maybe they would be able to pull the stunning upset, and that's, how, that had, that's been their formula for victory Absolutely. so far. And a really nice job attacking the basket to be able to get Frontier to commit so many fouls, too. So great job by Jack Zygmunt. He has really taken over this game if the, here in the second if half. If the Falcons can seal the deal here, if they can finish, this is going to make their season. But that's very much in doubt right now. They get it in to Zygmunt. He's double team over to Gratz, and he gets run into. What do we got? Out of bounds. Wow, oh, they're going to say it's out of bounds. Off of the Falcons. Gratz is going to say that he got run into by Kalen Evans. It's going Kalen. to be frontier ball with 29.6 seconds left. Kalen, Kalen Evans, Evans is, is still hurt. down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's still down. I think he got kneed right in the head. He got kneed right in the head. So he is still down. They're going to attend oh, he's calling, to him. He's calling over coach. He's calling coach over. And here comes the, the assistant coach, Brennan McKenna, a part of that uh, great state title team back in 08. And they're going to help him to knee his too. feet. Got his and knee as well. Got he, kicked in the head and he got his knee both. not heading to the bench. He's heading actually to the locker room. Wow. So I think, I think we've seen the last of Kalen Evans wow, tonight. That's, that's, that a, that's a tough blow. I hate to see that happen. Oh, me. Me too, man. Frontier He's is, worked hard tonight. Frontier is going to have the ball with 29.6 seconds left, 65-61 in favor of Smith. And I, I gotta thank Bobby, go down low. Absolutely. As, as, as fast as you can. Into Barrington, left side to Morse. He's gonna take the three, that's an air ball. And a save nicely down low, but it ends up in the hands of the Falcons. Ferrara is fouled, he's gonna shoot two on the other end with 20.4 seconds left and a four point Smith Academy lead. Boy, that shot right there by Morris was way off. I mean, way off. Uh, you know, again, I think Frontier, unfortunately for them, uh, you know, this will be something before the tournament happens, they gotta get things locked down. Yeah. You know, Bobby, come on, you know what you gotta do in that situation. You get it down low, low to the Twin and Towers. And try to see, yeah. if they can, see if they can try to commit a foul, then you get a chance at a three point play the right way. All right, two free throws by Ferrara. First one is good. Huge shot right there by Ferrara. 66 to 61. He can make it again. A six point lead here with another make. Only 20.4 seconds left. The ball is in the air, it is good! Wow! 67 61, 20 seconds left. Frontier is in big trouble. Oh, bouncing it off his own foot was Burrington. Goes over the Morris, he'll take a three left side. It's another air ball. Put back by Peter Carey, no good. Gratz gets the rebound, he's fouled. And Smith Academy can feel it, Bobby. A oh, yeah. major, major stunning upset. They, they make it here, one shot. No way you're gonna get three possessions in seven seconds. No, 7.6 seconds left. Wow. Two, two shots for Brett Gratz, only one make. will make it a three possession game and Smith will get the win. Hey, Unbelievable. These kids have worked really hard here tonight. Got to give Purple a lot of credit tonight. There it is. First free throw good. 68 to 61. One more for Brett Gratz. 
Lefty shooter puts it up, and that is good as well. 69 to 61. Frontier's 14 game winning streak is about to end. Three seconds left, shot up, no good. Put back, no good, it's over! And Smith Academy has done it. Wow! They have upset Ooh. Frontier, a team that they had lost earlier this season to down in Hatfield, decisively to say the least. They lost that one huge and they win it here 69 to 61. They lost 72-33 the first time around. What a game. We'll take a timeout, our post-game show coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. All right, welcome to the post-game show here on Bear Country 95.3. Smith Academy has pulled off the stunner. They defeated Frontier here tonight by a final score of 69-61. to 61. Jeff Terrell, Bobby C., studio producer Dave Reno. Pleased to be joined now by Jack Zygmunt. Smith Academy has it sunk in. You guys did it. Came in here and knocked off Frontier. We got buckets. <laughs> <laughs> you did. You did. Hey, you got buckets, man. Listen, that fourth quarter, though, every time they, they kept charging and looking like they were going to take the lead and maybe pull away from you guys, you guys always had an answer. What, what, what enabled you guys to stick around and then ultimately win the game? Great shooting. Great shooting from all of us tonight. And you know what you did tonight? You did a nice job attacking the basket, Jack. That's what you got to do when you're a guy like you who's got strong, Nice, nice skills. You attacked the basket. Did well. You got them in foul trouble. That's what you needed to do. What were you guys thinking? We started off 11 to nothing. It didn't look good. What were you guys thinking at that time? We needed to win this to make tournament. All right. Nice going. Congratulations. By the way, you're the uh, player of the game. Nice going. Nice job, Jack. All right. We will let him go. And you can hear the, uh, <laughs> the crowd from Hatfield around here. And uh, that's a huge win. Yeah. And yes, mathematically, they are still alive for a postseason berth. They now go to 6-10 and 10 on the season. But I'll tell you something right now. They beat Greenfield. They're in. And they're in, They yeah. beat Greenfield. They're in. They're and one of the top two teams in their division. And, and they, they just beat Frontier, who is the number one seed and, in their division. And they've already defeated the Green Wave earlier this season. And they already season. defeated the Green so Wave earlier they, they this year. They know they can do it. Yep. i got to tell you, I, I am, I'm not wearing a cap, but if I had a cap, I would tip it. To those kids from Hatfield, they did a fine job tonight. And for Frontier, Bobby, well, listen, a lot of people might look at this and say this isn't potentially the worst thing that could, that could have happened. This loss didn't disrupt a perfect season. They've already had a loss. And now this is instructive as to what could happen in the tournament. If they, if, if they don't execute the way that they should, and they did not do a good job of execution tonight, that they can be had. Well, let me tell you right now, what happened was is that they really didn't have anybody who was able to get out and be able to stop Zygmunt or Gratz tonight. But they also knew at the beginning of the game, Smith Academy, that they didn't have anybody who was going to stop the Carey brothers. <laughs> That's right. And, you know, Karsten was able to pull 30, and his brother still got 16. So 46 of those 61 points for Frontier tonight were from the Carey brothers, all right? And that's because it's pretty hard to be able to play defense with guys that tall when you have nobody on your team except for Bartlett, who's probably about 6'2", yeah. maybe 6'3", maybe. And he made some plays, he though, tonight did. as he well. Did. It was really it was a great team yeah, effort. Colin really Ferrara played well. I mean, they did a really good job here tonight. They needed everyone to play well because that was the only way they were probably going to win this basketball game. But they win it by eight. 69 
to 61 the final. Bobby, we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up. But first, I'm going to have you run those final numbers. All right. Well, leading the way for Frontier here tonight, once again, Karsta Carey with 30, his brother with 16, also Owen Morris with 6, Tim Barrington with 5, Kaylin Evans with 2, and Alex Sharp with 2. And we want to send our best to Kaylin Evans, who uh, ended up having to leave the game with a possible knee injury. Now, for Smith Academy, man, I'm going to tell you right now, it was the Jack Zygmunt and Brett Gratz show. How about 28 for Gratzy? Jack Zygmunt with 23. He picked up 17 of those 23, <laughs> literally, in the second half. Wow. I mean, very, very impressive. Also, Carter Woodward with 6. Nate Monahan ends up with 4. Max Bartlett with 4. Daniel Cavanaugh with two, and Colin Ferreira with two. There you go, folks. 69-61. That's why you have to play the game. And if you go back and you saw what the score was when these two teams played each other earlier in the year, it was a 39-point victory for Frontier over in their gym. They came back into this gym, and they got it done here tonight. Great effort by Smith Academy. And again, congratulations to Jack Zegmont as he's the Helena Chemical Player of the Game with the win. Smith Academy now goes to 6-10 and 10 on the season. And Frontier's 14-game losing streak ends on their home court to Smith Academy. And uh, they now drop their seasonal record now to 15-2. We're into the final home stretch as the tournament begins in two weeks. Final score for the final time tonight here in South Deerfield on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's the Smith Academy Falcons 69, the Frontier Red Hawks 61. For Bobby C and for Dave Reno, I'm Jeff Terrell. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast and have a great night in Bear Country.